That that was one of the starting cars for uh, Horizon, Horizon 3. 3. Yep. Hello everybody, yeah, welcome I, back I to one. episode 3 of Head to Head. Today we'll be doing the 2016 Ford Mustang Shelby GT350R versus the 2016 BMW M4 GTS. Um, not the M3 GTS, he almost pulled up here in the M3 GTS that's from like 2010 or <laughs> something like that. Which would have been a complete mismatch, but thank god he came to his senses. But um, yeah, so um, yeah. Uh, do you want to go first for your specs? Uh, sure. I have the 2016. I BMW. already said that, you dumb fuck. Go on. I have a three-liter twin turbocharged inline-six engine, 493 horsepower, 443 pound-feet of torque. I have a six-speed transmission. I weigh 3,300 pounds, and I'm rear-wheel drive. I'm looking at our roofs. Your roof seems to be carbon fiber. I think mine is just painted black. Yeah. So yeah, see, I can see the carbon. Um, this is just painted black. Well, oh shit, drop my controller. Oh shit. Oh, good job. Yeah, so like I said, guys, like, um, I just want to say thank y'all for the support on the last video. For the first time ever, someone actually complimented him. Usually it's just, you know, oh, uh, Jay, and good, blah, blah, blah. Uh, nice driving, and then, oh, so shit. He needs to take driving school lessons. It's usually along those lines. Never has it ever been uh, positive. So, yeah, thank y'all. So, um, yeah, let me get to the specs. So, under the hood of my uh, Mustang is a 5.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine, 526 brake horsepower, 429 pound feet of torque, front engine, rear wheel drive, and has a six speed transmission, and it weighs 3,660 pounds. So, um, yeah, and just look at this thing. This thing is so nice. It's, it's really nice looking. I know, literally, I can't get over it. I, I, I'm just looking at it. It's so nice. And look, it even, the colorway even matches the um, Stig. Look at that. White and the blue. Beautiful. He just needs red shit around his goggles. But um, yeah, do a sound test. Alright. Alright, I'll do my sound test. Yeah, V8, motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that does it for our little introductions. Let's head out to the festival to do our drag race where I believe that this will stomp the BMW but I could be wrong alright we're gone alright get a quick um, early preview of how the head to head race will look I mean wow this thing is so nice I can't believe this was a starter car though for Horizon 3 it's a little too high performance for a starter car of any sort I just slammed into the wall <laughs> skills all right, guys. Best driver in the world. Exactly. It's oh, this guess what? It's not winter. Every video. Look at that! Finally, we're not in winter. Oh yeah, I noticed that as soon as I got on, I was like, "Thank the fucking lord." Yeah, winter's just terrible, dude. Winter is terrible. Winter just makes me want to die. Hey guys, so I was getting ready to come out and explain his love for Genji, but he ended up deleting it. From I did not. Horsepower. Instead of just reading his brake horsepower, wheel horsepower, he decided to use Genji power. It was not. I did not put that. He changed his mind, unfortunately. I so. did not. I. Gosh. Maybe next episode he'll come out and explain or um, express his love for Genji. I know. Maybe one day. And look at this Mustang just hauling ass, motherfuckers. This Mustang is Mr. I don't take no shit from nobody. So watch how you talk to me, motherfuckers. How, how fast are you going? I'm, I just hit 160. I'll I just hit 160 also. And then... And I went off the road. Skills! Right here, look at this. And then look at that. This Mustang is already giving me nice, 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 nice hope. I'm looking forward to using this. And see what cars we got here at the drag strip. It looks like we have an old ass Golf, which has been heavily modified. And then over here we have a uh, CCX, or that's the CC8 GT, or whatever the hell it is. And then a BMW that just ran into me. Alright, let me get started up, guys. I'm surprised I made it all the way over here without this car exploding. I'm surprised you made it over here without, without your Xbox crashing. With the what? Your Xbox crashing. 
Uh, my Xbox is fine. I mean, my old one, I'd be like, yeah, sure, but I mean. Your loading times are still, I think, honestly, the same. I, I don't see how Sadly. loading times could be longer. Really. But, um, yeah. It takes me about, like, 20 seconds in total just to get from, like, the finish of the race to the track. Yeah, I'll get there, right, and you're still, um, loading out of the, um, race. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, the Fiat, the pistol, the ama most amazing car in the game. Yeah, I know. Hold on, let me get oh, some slides like in the I saw an Abarth, um... 502 or a 69. No, I don't know. It wasn't a 695. Because it was just a Barth 500. I've never seen it a Barth. Mm. Actually, I've seen one, and it was the um, Barth Spider. Whatever the fuck that thing's called. All right, who do you I've have? I've seen winning? a couple of Barths. You, not even a question. Yep. We're in a Jag race. Yep, exactly. This is what this thing was built to do. Oh, well, it has some track capabilities, but I mean, it's a Mustang. It's in a. It's have, in yeah. Yeah. I probably have much better track capabilities than you, but I'm driving, so. <laughs> was about to say, yeah. All right, let's get and, off the and, line and then first. You are gone. All right, bye, Jaden. Oh, oh, he's pulling. But look at the set. Oh, the, the shift's fucked me. Oh, oh, that was close. Who won that? I believe. I did not. Ex I got first. It says I got first. I know. I don't, I, I kind of knew that was gonna happen for some reason. Wow. No, I did not expect that whatsoever. Like actually, though. Why does it do that though? Like, is that someone's lag on someone's end? I don't know, but apparently I won. Well, I was ahead on your screen, right? On my screen? No, I, 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 I think we leveled out right at the end. I didn't think I won though. Yeah, I was ahead decently, but whatever. I guess this what Forza says, so we'll go ahead and put it down. But now, let's head on I, to I mean, our new cars of the week. All right, hello everybody. So now we're on our new segment first. Look at that. And then Genji, right there. Oh so my god! It, it all comes makes sense. Genji and him. How nice is that? But um, for my new car, a car that I'm oh shit excited. It's the new. Oh, you deleted the fat one. I accident deleted. It the, is yeah, the 2022 yeah, no. Zubru WRX. Um, the STI model is not out. It usually comes out like a year or so after the WRX. But I hear some snapshots of it. This is how it looks. This is no concept form. This is how it's going to roll off the production line. Um, looks similar. It has some different um, elements like the front end. The tail lights is what's different. The rear end is you have like this black trim sort of diffuser. You have also this black wheel arches and fenders and stuff. That's different. And the tail lights. I can't help but think but that looks like a Civic. That's the first thing I thought when I it saw it. Really this. fucking does. Yeah, oh when I first God. saw it and I, I didn't read it with Zubru, I was like, "Was oh, that a Civic?" But no, it is on um, the new Zubru WRX. Uh, front end still looks like a Zubru, and it still looks really nice. Honestly, I think the car is nice apart from it looking like a Civic. But um, what can you do? So I'm under the a hood of this thing. Van? What happened? A huge air vent in the fucking uh, Where's that? hood. Oh yeah, yeah. So under the hood of this is a 2.4 liter flat four, um, 271 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque, which is a little bit better than the um, last WRX. It is front engine, all wheel drive, six speed automatic transmission, and the price is unknown at this point, so I'm $45. Sure $45. Should be somewhat close to that. And um, some more information. So the handful of WRXs and various trim levels on display revealed that buyers will be able to choose between 17 or 18 inch wheels. The former shod and 235 millimeter tires and the latter and 245s. Another little detail I gleaned from the quick time with speed in the, hold on, let me make this bigger. Not going big. Where do you get your information from? Uh, either I don't know. I think this one was from. Cause your shows so much better than what I always have. Oh no. The car and driver always puts up some bullshit. <laughs> I think I actually got this from car and driver. Oh, really? Was the SPT will up shift for you? Won't bounce off the red light and won't downshift despite flicks of the paddle if it deems the resultant engine revs unsafe. Whether the automatic WRX could log faster lap times without the SPT faking shifts remains an outstanding question that nobody on hand could answer. And a quick session at the track did not offer the greatest setting to explore more features of Zubru's eyesight suit or suite of advanced driver assistance technology, including advanced adaptive cruise control, a combination of adaptive cruise control and lane centering, and automatic emergency steering, a new function that will help drivers avoid a collision with steering support. 
Um, again, so that's pretty much it um, for my. Again, here's some quick looks at it. Uh, I, what do you think of the car? Um, I mean, it's it's it looks very much like a Subaru. They kept it clean. I like it. Especially yeah. this, those taillights. To really look like a fucking Civic, what they look. Yeah, what I know. They that is, really that is a like Civic. It. Yeah. That is, that is a Civic taillight. Huh. Uh, and I actually do know what the car you're in or I'm rolling with, but you can go ahead and tell us. All right. Well, th this is the 2022 Audi RS e-tron GT. Mm -hmm. Um, it has it obviously doesn't have an engine, but it runs on an 85 kilowatt lithium-ion battery pack. It has 522 to 637. Horsepower, <laughs> not Genji power. You unfunny shit. Why is there Genji power there? Can you just not help yourself? I don't know. I don't know. You put that down, Jaden. <laughs> okay, that was a little odd. 522 horsepower to 637 horsepower, depending on what you get with the option. Uh, 464 torque, 612. It has a two-speed transmission, and it is a hundred thousand to a hundred forty thousand dollars. It is very, very expensive. How much? Very expensive. Hundred and what? <laughs> A hundred thousand to hundred forty thousand dollars. Damn, that is a lot of money. Yeah, that is a lot uh, of money compared to the forty-five dollar um, SWRX. I mean, at this point, I mean, get a Tesla. Yeah, I know, really. All right, because I mean, I don't know who else is what, what else, whether brand really is competing with Tesla right now. I mean, I guess Audi could really put the act together if they really want to. Yeah. But here's some additional information. Audi claims a nine a three point nine second run to sixty miles an hour for the GT. And 3.1 seconds for the RS GT. As with Audi's performance mate, the Porsche taken, those acceleration times are repeatable, provided you know the launch control, dynamic mode, hard on the brake, accelerator to the floor. You know, you're lucky I'm reading this, so I don't know. Or else <laughs> I would have went up there. If you're arranged anxious about finding somewhere to recharge, the Atron GT is rated for 238 miles, and the 590 horsepower RS Atron GT model is good for 232 miles. The power is converted into an into acceleration with the help of its innovative two-speed transmission which has a first gear for launches and a second top gear for optimal efficiency. Okay. That's it. I would say yeah, I would think that commit that competes more with the Taycan, Taycan whatever than the um any Tesla. Tesla. Yeah, I mean I yeah. think that's a little too much for Tesla. I mean 3.9 3.9 to 0 to 60 so it's all I mean, I'm electric. I'm sure they could I'm sure they could crush that with the plaid though. They're new they're new they're new one. But is this all electric? I think so. I think and it is it all electric. It only has a 3.9 0 to 60 time. I think so. I think yeah. it's just all electric. But uh that's what the that's what the what base the hell is one model. The model RSG or you could get the RS GT for and that'll be 3.1 0 to 60 time. And look, what do you think of the looks? Hold on, Tesla Model S played. I just want to see something real quick. A thousand and twenty horsepower. Wow. How much is the price? One hundred and twenty-nine thousand. So that's eleven thousand dollars cheaper than that. So then the RS. Yeah. Okay. Get get the plaid. Um. Hold on. Zero to sixty price. What the fuck? It's weird. Zero to zero sixty to six, price. Is, I know. So it said zero to sixty in one point ninety-nine seconds. Yeah. Damn. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Fast as shit. There's no, there's no point to go without. I mean, unless you, I mean, I guess if you don't like the big ass, like I everything mean, runs on the the touch screen, then yeah, I guess you could go with the Audi. But here, let's just look at the difference in interiors. I'm about to put up some pictures. So here's Teslas, and then I'll, let me go ahead and grab Audis. But yeah, I would honestly just rather get the. Um, obviously, we're only going by off paper, but um, I mean on paper, it just. Looks like a better car, especially for the price. Eleven. I mean, honestly, when you're buying a car in that in that um, price range, does it really matter? Yeah, I, at the same time. I, I yeah. feel like if I'm like debating buying a four hundred forty thousand dollar car, I'm sitting nicely. Exactly. Okay. All right, so here we go. There's this car. The. I mean, that's. I don't, I never liked the screen in the middle. I've never liked it ever. I think it for looks what, like the Tesla. Yeah, I just think that it looks weird. Like it, and I don't know. I think the interior looks kind of like basic with it. It's just like I always like the center console. That's the cars. plaid interior. Yeah, that is not a plaid interior. That is the. It doesn't have the weird ass steering wheel which it comes with. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, you are hundred percent correct. I searched up. Yeah, you're hundred percent correct. Good job. That's All what right. It does not look like a plaid. I like you but get that with a plaid. Hell worse. no. Yeah, I don't even like this one. This is 
Why are they all saving like that? Okay, hold on. That looks stupid. Was it I know. I hate. I hate the standing though. It looks fucking hideous. No, I, this... I, I like they at least put some wood grain finish rather than it just being the same material. I mean, that doesn't look like a good interior. It looks so basic. It does look very basic because everything is run on the fucking on the big ass. So think about yeah. it. There's like no nice buttons. There's none of that nice exactly. shit. They, did, they just glued a fucking iPad Pro to the damn exactly. and dashboard. Exactly. Like the Audi. Boom. And then the Audi. I would say the Audi does have a much nicer interior. See, look at it that. just beautiful. looks like. Yeah, it just looks it's nicer because yeah, of the center console part. Well, um, yeah. I, which car would you rather have? Hold um, on. Tesla Model S. If I'm being completely honest, oh, no, I'm, I that's see. actually really hard. I I do really like the range, 390 uh, miles. You know, I'd I'd rather have the Audi. I'd have the. I'd um, rather, yeah, this the is Audi. gonna decide mine. And then range, it does not say. Hold on. Range, come on. Uh, oh, we have well the range. I have the range. Uh, 238 miles. miles for the Audi. Wow, really close. So. Get an Audi. <laughs> no, I would go with the I mean, plate at that point. 390 okay. miles compared to 238. No. Oh, I thought you said 290. Oh. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Never mind. I take it off. Uh, I. I it looks like the Model S, but damn, this car is nice. The Model what, the S Audi. Plate? Oh, oh, the model. Well, this model is not S? even a real. This is not even. This is just a rendering. Doug Demiro reviewed one. Oh really? It's really the, that's the only that's really the only reason I know about the plaid. I didn't watch the plaid anymore, but yeah. So with that being said, that concludes today's new car um, news segment, whatever you want to call it. Again, Audi. Hey, Jaden. What happened? What do you think of the looks? Oh, of this. Uh... I think the rear end looks fucking hideous. <laughs> it looks so fat. It looks huge. Honestly. You know, from the rear, it almost looks like like the like the shape of the car looks like a um, Panamera, really. I was about to say that it kind of looks like a wagon. At yeah, some points, I agree. Front's nice. I like that big black. The front grill. is nice. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's, it's all right. Back in. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. So. At least it doesn't look too electric. You know how some electric cars they like go overboard in the electric styling. Oh, Honda, Honda, Honda. Yeah, yeah, I agree. See, like this has like somewhat of a grill. I don't know if it's functional, but at least it's there for looks. Some cars exactly. don't have electric cars don't have grills and they're hideous. But um yeah, so that concludes today's new car segment and without further ado, let's move on to the head to head race. Right, we're on the non snow track again, guys, because the snow part's honestly getting stupid at this point. I'll probably make a new whole big ass track. I'll probably put some dumb shit in it just for him to fuck up on. Like a corner I'll know he'll fuck up on. Like two sharp corners in a row. Yeah. I'll probably do something like but, that. No, the entire track will just be corners. Yeah, I know, just corners. Just corners, no streets. All right, let's do it. He starts in front. Starts in front. But guess what, motherfucker? My V8 said fuck all that shit you heard about. Stupid up, okay. I hate how the cars I love hitting invisible. the cobblestone wall. It throws me off. I just don't like how cars are invisible at points. I mean, it's cool and all. But I mean, it's, oh shit! See, like that's bullshit. Yeah, see, like that happened to me when you were behind me. Like I'm way outside now because of that bullshit. All right, and we made it to the first set of corners, and now we're going into more streets. Yeah, can't you disable? Can't you disable that? No, that's right. That's only motorsport. Oh, okay. That's Horizon like, Four that's is like, that's, that's kind of bullshit. Bones. Literally, when it comes to um, race settings, like it'd be cool if they could come out with a new game, but at the same time we would have really nothing to review. Oh my god! I mean, god. maybe the Taken. Dude, okay, I watched but... the full list of manufacturers not in. Are you ready for it? Just think the ones that are off the top of my head: Alfa Romeo, <laughs> BMW, bullshit. Um, oh my god! A Barth this won't be in. Not a Barth. Come on. What else is not in? I know there was a lot. And I was shocked. Oh, Mazda. Mazda. Um, actually, Mazda might be in. 
I don't know, but yeah, I, I don't know what's the deal with all these. I will be on the. You know, honestly, Mazda doesn't too big, but I bet you he's gonna be the JDM fan. But he's saying, "Eh, RX7, eh." I would like the RX7. It's the only Mazda I really care about. Yeah, but there's a lot of JDM fanboys who wanted the game to be set in Japan. And, and, you know, and they wanted the Supra. Yeah. Where they were crying when the Supra was in, in the game. Yeah, they the were crying. Yeah, when the GT, when the eighty 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 six was in the game. Yeah. Yeah, all right, la yeah, I, I last time I had a, a, a massive lag spike here. I'm honestly hoping that doesn't happen again. Cause Your name tag stupid. faded away from me, so you are super ahead of me right now. And I just pulled off a drip because I'm built different in today's world. This Mustang fucking handles amazingly. So does this BMW. Like, this Mustang's making me eat my shit. No! What, the, what is happening? Oh! Okay. That was weird. No! Right, oh, it's happening again. And <laughs> nope, let me get in front of you. I'm not losing that. Nope. Slow down now. We're not doing this. What the fuck is... I'm going 10 miles an hour right now. Oh my god, now it's at 60. Here, here just get right by the turn and then as soon as I break, you um, go. Or as soon as I break and I'm in front of you, you go. We'll make this... Oh, it's not it. Bro, it's happening literally again. <laughs> Alright, go, I guess. Wow, that was dumb. And it's still lagging, but at least it's playable. Nope, not anymore. Oh, nope, not anymore. Yep. What's happening? Oh, Alright, slow down off again. The road. <laughs> okay, now we're at 60. <laughs> Why does it always happen there? It's like something with the festival. Alright, slow down again. I'm not losing the race. I already lost the last race off of that, so I'm not losing this one. Alright, you can start gassing. Do you see this? Like, I'm being trolled. I think I'm being DDoS. Slow down again. We're not doing this. Jesus Christ. Alrighty. Oh my god, it's doing it again. Genji's DDoSing you right now. I'll just give you. I'll give you a boost. There oh, you thank go. you, Jaden. That'll make it competitive. It's that not gonna just... help me that much because you're a Mustang. But I mean, dang, dude, that was bullshit, dude. Pisses me off. Oh. oh, it's getting laggy. Oh, I took it outside. Oh, this is still. A, this is still not a real win. This is bullshit. I'm pissed, dude. It's, it's your computer that pulls that shit, right? Not your internet. No, I don't. Yeah, it's not internet. And it does do that again. Right, I'm just gonna quit this race because I'm not turning around to go through it. It sucks that races are ruined by lag. That's annoying. Was that, I sent you the video the last time it happened. It wasn't that bad. Or no, it was worse than that. It just pisses me off. I don't know what it is, so sometimes it doesn't do that. What graphics settings am I even running? Let me see this, guys. Maybe this will give me some intel on what's happening. I'm running it all on normal settings. I'm just high in the normal. That is weird. I need to research that. Um, yeah, so that is it for the head-to-head. Um, -head. And now let's move on to the cool wall. All right, here in our cool wall, as you can see before we start, we can say in the it's cold section, we only have one uh, member, and that is the Lexus ISF. And then here in the it's heating up, we have the 2018 Ford Mustang GT, and then the Genesis G80 SUV, right? 70. 70. There is a G80, though, right? There's a, the G80 is the bigger one. Yeah, okay. Is there a sport version of that? I don't think so. Okay. And then in the hot as hell, we have the Toyota. Oh, hold up. Oh yeah, I forgot we did do that. Yeah, so we have the Toyota. Um, the what is it? The GR86 and then the GR86. Honda Civic Type, That's Civic Type R and then M3 and then yeah. M4. All right, hold on. So yeah, we do do that. Okay, I forgot. All right, so um, our first car was the one that I decided to um have as my new car. Where is it at? Where is it at? Um, Fuck. might just actually have to pull up a new picture. So you can go ahead and put your car in. Alrighty. Um, so my car. I chose was this Audi 
and I'd love for you to paste it. There we go. This is this Audi 2022 uh, e-tron GT? And what do we think of it? Uh, I'm still looking for a picture of my car. Alrighty. Well, um, and not I don't a hideous. Don't have too much complaints besides the back color. end. The back, the back end is hideous. It's, oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I just realized. What? My dumbass was not in the fucking cool wall. Dumb motherfucker. This dude's dumb as shit, honestly. <laughs> All right, since he took too long, I will start. Um, the car I had today was a 2022 Zubaru WRX right here. This is an orange. The one I had was in blue. Oh, this looks much better. Yeah, this does look a lot better from the front. So, um, yeah, I think this is actually pretty cool, and I will put it in hot as hell. I don't give a two fucks what O has to say. So, yeah. I was going to say the same thing, so okay, I good. it better. All right, shrink it up. Oh, my headset is blaring at me. Hold on. And then, all right, go ahead and put your Audi RS GT e on LS, whatever the fuck this car. All right, so this is my car again. Um, did it? Oh, please pose. Could, could it like come down? Oh, I don't even see the shit. picture. <laughs> what is <laughs> happening? <laughs> I was copying and pasting the text box. Oh! <laughs> okay. Right, here we go. Here it is. There we go. This is the Audi 2022 e-tron GT or some bullshit like that. Yeah. So, um, I don't have too much complaints with the car. I mean, it's pretty cool besides the fucking rear and the rear and makes me want to throw up. Hot as hell. But, uh, hot as hell? Hot as hell. Yeah, oh, I'll put it in the hot as hell. What is this? That was from a long time ago. What? What what I just dragged on the corner. I remember this. We did do this. That was a long. So that shows you how old the this one is. All right. Um, get it out of here. Just cut it and then paste it in the um, how does that thing? All right. And then I'll okay. Get this text box out of here, dude. I can't do shit because I keep clicking on it. What the fuck is back? Oh my god! I actually can't do shit with this. What the fuck? Right next to this, to, to the Subi. You like fucked there up. There it is. Subi. All right, beautiful. Okay, you actually like fucked up. <laughs> Delete. I did that by accident. All right. So, and then the car that I'm driving is. Where's that? Is this it? I think you actually broke it. How so? No, because <laughs> can you paste a picture in it? <laughs> Um, control V. Yeah. Hold on, let me just do this. Duplicate. No, <laughs> don't do the that. The tiny ass fucking four is in the corner. I can see it. I can grab it just fine. Oh, oh, what is happening? Alright, alright. Oh, right. I see what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, just put a new slide. What the fuck? I could do it just fine. Oh, there you go. Um, oh, what? <laughs> what is half? What did you do? <laughs> What the hell? Hold on. All right. Okay. The pick. The Let me do it. Do you want me to try and find a find one and paste it? No, that was more of the. Okay. Uh... That GT three fifty R was like pixelated. It was like blurred out. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? All right. This one should work. All right. Jesus Christ. Why is it always doing that? That pisses me off. Okay. Save image as. What's it going to save as the... Okay. Oh, that's too funny. I'm still trying to find a... Just go ahead and put your car. Uh, um... Alrighty, so let me pull out my car real quick. Let me get Actually, a photo no, of it, it real quick. My fault, y'all. You got it? Alright. All right. Finally, here is the car I am doing in the same colorway. The 2016 GT350R. I'm not even going to say anything. Because it's just a no-brainer, and I put it in the wrong one, but luckily I can do There is, yeah, there's no need to, to elaborate on this car. Yeah, on there's just car, no so. need. And then here, this is where it is. Like I said, like um, the other day when we were doing the 2018 GT, and I didn't put it on hot as hell. This is why. Because most things like this are hot as hell. Those ones are cool, but they're not hot as hell. So, yeah. That's what I got for that. Alright, so I got my car. Um... Did we know... Uh, in my opinion, this should go hot as hell. What? what? The BMW. Yeah, go ahead. I don't care for BMWs, but yeah, yeah I won't BMW. deny it. Okay. So then. And then, um, I'll just do this car as a bonus because we talked about it for a while. So, 
Um, let's see. <laughs> ah, hold on. Right, there you go. And then, what do you think of this one? I'll let you decide this one. Let's see it. <laughs> How unfunny. <laughs> Fuck out of here, dude. You know why it took him a while to delete the pictures? Because he secretly downloaded the picture and then deleted it. I didn't even realize. No, it took, it took it a little while to load in because of my shitty internet. Yeah, so okay, I'll believe you. that. All right, so that is it for our cool wall. Um, Yep, so as you can see, the hot as hell. We have a lot of hot as hell. We do have a lot of hot as hell. Yeah, we actually do have a lot of hot as hell. Wow. Okay, that's good, I guess. But, um, yeah, so now we can go on to the track and then we see what's the faster car. Yeah. All right. Here on my run, let's do this. I'm predicting a new champion on the um, leaderboard. I'm predicting a first and second, actually, but I believe this one will be first. We'll see, though. I no. believe that this will be also that this will also be first because Jaden is driving it. Never know. Yeah, but yeah, at the same time. Okay, so far good. Think he'll now, win this one. with this one. You have to just gas it lightly to get to see, and then and then you can burst off of the turns. But when you burst on a turn instead of off the turn, you slide out and you get the rear out. And this Mustang would love to have its rear out. This is a Hoon car. Exactly. Any most well, not any most American cars just love to be Hooned. Yeah. Very Hoon. Yeah, Hooned as you would say. Yes, they do. You remember when sometimes you would hit the, um, like whatever, call, whatever these are, like blockades or whatever, and like it would stop, stop your car the dead in its car. tracks? Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it was very That was annoying. stupid. Oh, good recovery. I just Same thing would happen with these crates. I remember, there's these little tiny crates poking out of the side of the wall, so you have to be like dead in the middle. Oh, I know. Because if you go anywhere know. near the wall, yeah, it'll stop done. your car. Yeah, you're done. Look at that. Oh my god. I, I literally turned it too good. Holy shit. Alright, coming on the final straight where you can get some extra seconds on the BMW. This is a fast lap. Oh, this is a fast lap. I know it is. And then light it, and then bam. And then kaboom. Boom. That's a new champion. Mark my words, motherfuckers. Alright. I'll go in my drone mode. And then, let's see. All right, BMW. It's better that we do the race before this too, because we can get like acquainted with the cars instead of just driving it for the like first time. Exactly. All right, where's my stopwatch, motherfuckers? Stopwatch, stopwatch. All right. I do believe I am ready. All right. You know what cars? Are, what manufacturer I like to see? And um, well, Forza Tesla. That would be really bad. They had a Motorsport they did have 6. Once. Yeah, they had the P100E or whatever yeah. it was called. Yep. The Model S, basically. Yeah. A really fast Model S. Oh, look at that. That sounds nice. That. It'd also be pretty cool if they added a Rolls Royce back to the game. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, Bentley's not going to be in the new one, as of right now. I thought you said it was. So they only had the Bentayga. Uh huh. I, that's what I thought, but Don Juan Song, if you know who that is, he's a really popular Forza YouTuber, said there wasn't. So I'd rather, I'd go with the, uh, whatever website I read it off of. Yeah, I mean, there was like 13 brands, but like some of them weren't even like, like one was ATS and Ascari, I mean, come on. Who wants Ascari? I mean. Yeah, I mean. It's whatever. I'm cool. It's a cool old brand, but I mean, who asked for it now? Yeah, exactly. Who asked for it? Yeah, this card does sound very nice. See, Forza like can get their sounds right when they want to, but unfortunately, they want to only about two percent of the time. The only car sounds in this game I think they get, they really actually do get right is Ferrari V8s. Yeah. BMWs and Porsches. Yeah, I would say so. That's about it. They get Mustangs right too. I do, yeah. Look at that. Um, and I'm s the drone won the race, motherfucker. <coughs> Is it me or did those tires change colors? And kaboom! All right. 
Let's see who's the new champion, because I we're pretty oh, sure. Oh, that, that was a terrible lap. Oh my god. But hold on, first, oh, I remember these tires being orange. Bush tires. Oh, right here. They're all. I mean, I mean, I remember the flag back there will be blue, purple, and orange. So I mean, that's even. All right. So what did the BM? I mean, the Ford Mustang get? One thirty-eight twenty-eight. Holy shit! So did I? Do you want a rerun? Was it really that bad? I mean, yeah. That felt like a good lap, dude. Uh, did, do you think you could do better? Do you think you can do six I, I, seconds better? Maybe. Go ahead. I'll let you go again. What the fuck? That's ridiculously slow. Yeah. That's... I'm not ridiculously slow. I mean, that's pretty bad. Dude, this Mustang. All right. Um, I'll have that as lap one. Picture. All right. Mm -hmm. Huh? Go. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright. We'll start probably doing two laps actually, guys, now, now that I think about it. We'll probably just do like the first lap is as a. You know, whatever lap. Because I thought this thing would put up a, a better fight. Maybe a car just got outclassed. You never know. It happens. So far, it already looks better with the way he's taking these little things. Oh, I farted. I mean, my chair creaked. Dang, this BMW is nice. Alright. Ah, Forza Horizon 5, while the game itself looks good, it's just the car list seems lacking. Like every four is a game usually. But that's what sucks, because think about it, this game Horizon 4 had like three years of updates. So, Channel our Horizon 5 won't even get close to um, the card list of this game. At least we could get Forza Horizon 4 that. Yeah, Horizon 4 did have. Horizon 4 is a good game, but it's just, it just gets boring in the solo aspect. Like, I don't remember a game getting, or uh, um, a Forza game getting this boring in any single player mode. Like, okay, Horizon already, 1 good. Yeah. I totally agree with you, though. Like, this game gets really stale after a little while. Yeah. Um, I gotta say, the way I took those corners are two times better than I did the last time. The lap is faster, but... Not faster. Yeah, that but was a faster, faster lap, but, I mean, but it wasn't good BMW. enough. Alright, so BMW. what okay, did the Mustang what did get? get again? One... Thirty-eight twenty-eight. All right. Um, your second lap got a one forty-one point ten. Your last one was one forty-four. That is much better. Yeah, so that's much better. But at the end of the day, there's only one king, and the king of the leaderboard is the Ford Mustang Shelby G350R. Put some respect on its name, and let's do this. Look at this. Go on. Oh, I thought I he was going to do that. Know this. All right. So yeah, that was pretty much it for um, the race. Again, like I said, we'll recap. Here, let's see if he could do it. Here, watch this, guys. I did. I mean, I, I did it really sloppily. Oh, don't do! It. Oh, that would have been so clean. I tried. I tried. All right. Um, yeah, so let's, well, before, well, I guess we can get thumbnail. Here, y'all can see how we make thumbnails. Here, look, let's do this as a thumbnail. Let's both hit the ramp. Beautiful. Alright, what's, alright, up is, no, on this side. Oh, on that side. Yes, motherfucker. Ow. Motherfucking bitch. I guess I have to Alright, ready? Let's go. Oh, pfft. Wait. <laughs> Alright, hit it. No, I pushed the wrong thing! <laughs> <laughs> we should use that when you got there. No, this is gonna look like shit. Actually, <laughs> fuck it. This is our, our thumbnail. Alright, guys. So, yeah, let's, we'll see how at the recap on the leaderboards. <laughs> Alright, and then do our quick recap. As we can see, like I said, 
um, we'll have probably two new first and second place. So, like I said, the champion of the track is the GT350R, and that's not even close. Compared to second place, which was the M4, it's three seconds. And then to the previous champion before this episode was the ISF, a whole 11 seconds faster. And compared to his Mustang counterpart, I mean, just look at that. 16 second difference. Crazy. That is a big fucking difference. And then um, on the drag side of it, we also do have a new king, the BMW M4 GTS. Um, edged out the Ford Mustang GT350R. It edged out two Mustangs. Isn't that funny? But, um, yeah. So far, that's how it is. And look, our leaderboard is starting to look like an actual leaderboard. It's starting to have actual competition, not just... Well, actually, no. GT350R said no competition. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, guys, so that does it for this episode, episode three. If y'all like it, like the video. Um, like I said, if you have any suggestions for cards or challenges we should do, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And, yeah, that's all there is to say. So, yeah, thank y'all. Have a good day.